So players are stealing money away from Xenomax Online. Oh my, how the turns have tabled. Now I'm going to put my two cents in on this. If you have not already seen the community posts here on the uh, the forums itself, we're gonna go ahead and tab over to it. I'm just gonna put my two cents in on the issue. So I'll just go ahead and read through and I'm gonna show you uh, my thought process. And while this was um, kind of properly addressed, but I think there is some hidden issues. I won't say issues. I think there are some hidden agendas that, that is kind of sugar-coated in this reply from Kevin. So um, this is essentially about the fraudulent activity when it comes to gifting crown crates. And you may have noticed it's been disabled and it's been disabled for a very long time. I'm gonna read through this and take Kevin's word verbatim and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on why this is actually taking so long. So um, let's go ahead and read through the post here i'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys um who you know are middle-aged men such as myself probably have a hard time seeing so i am zoom in here so this is from kevin hi all we know many of you have been asking for an explanation regarding crown crate gifting issues this has been and continues to be a delicate process as there is sensitive inf information involved with that, we've been working on a high level overview of the current situation, which is that we've discovered some fraudulent behavior related to crown crate gifting, primarily on the PC platform. Again, this has been three months ago. No one has said anything about this, at least to my knowledge. So um, I'm not a crown crate enjoyer. I give Zoss as few as my monies as I possibly can because ESO is just cash cow for other endeavors that they have without the studio and throughout the company. So I. I wish I could boycott, but uh, as a content creator, I kind of have to have some, I kind of have to throw money at them. I kind of have to have ESO Plus. I got to make content for you guys. So unfortunately, it is a necessary evil for me to just, just, just shill money out the Zoss on occasion. So, I mean, it is what it is. So we'll go on. Well, we'll actually come back to this. So we've been working dil diligently to find a resolution to this point and put a stop to the fraudulent behavior. We're going to circle back around to this and what I really think. We want players who are not violating our terms of service by engaging in fraudulent behavior to be able to continue use gifting and ESO. They've used fraudulent behavior three times in two sentences and they've yet to explain what that means. Okay. We also cannot allow this fraudulent behavior to continue four times in three sentences, okay? Never do they elaborate on this. As you know, we know that our original fix resolved parts of the problem. However, we discovered another related issue in the process. We are continuing to work on a long-term resolution for that issue, and unfortunately, this means PC crown crate gifting in-game will remain unavailable until we do. So, never do they elaborate on this. Maybe um, there's some privacy issues maybe there's something behind the scenes that they don't want us to know but uh, we're going to circle back around this i want to tell you guys what i really really think is going on here this this is, gets very very deep and very shady and i i really do not appreciate this response whatsoever in the meantime we are working on a more immediate temporary solution with our customer support team date and the facilitating crown crate gifting transactions key point we are working with our customer support team to aid in the facilitating crown crate gifting transactions. This goes down a rabbit hole, which I'm going to discuss. I'm sorry I'm blue balling you guys, but I want to read through this post and then we'll just circle back around and pick it apart. We'll have more to share on that soon. We hope this gives some insight into why PC crown crate gifting continues to be unavailable. As always, thank you for your continued patience and understanding. Now, the best response to this is by this person, uh, Ratcher, um, uh, AKA. So, uh, this, this, this is phenomenal. He, so he does take exhaust at their face value. So essentially what he explains in this paragraph is that there are some geo gifting issues. So as you guys may or may not know, the crown crates in the U S are not considered gambling per se, because there is the endeavor system. So, in order for it to not be gambling, you have to be able to earn literally everything that is available in the crown crates somehow reasonably. You have to be able to get it in the game without just rolling the dice on the crates uh, because that would be quote unquote gambling. That is the only reason that the Endeavor system exists, which is a loophole so they can keep shilling out these crown crates and not have them banned. Some countries that are smart have put an, a complete stop to this it is absolute bullshit and they don't put up with it this 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 is just essentially preying off people who have problems i mean that's 
that's essentially what it is that's all crown crates are you guys know the odds of this is completely completely abysmal like less than two percent for a rating apex mount you only get 15 crates for 45 dollars or whatever it is it is absurd it is complete it, it, it out of this world man like the the whole entire expansion will cost you 30 dollars a whole new class area everything the whole, the whole game 30 dollars but these crown crates are costing like 40 bucks for 15 crates and you're not going to get anything out of it it, it is completely broken absurd system so essentially what this person claims to be is you know they're they're playing the devil's advocate here and saying hey you know there's probably some geotag issues to where players um are actually buying these crates and gifting them to um potentially other regions in which um that area you know may uh, consider crown crates being banned and they're still able to get to them there's some legality issues there essentially that's what this paragraph is about now uh, we don't have any information on this but i have my own sneaky suspicions this is not the case so as soon as the crown crates came out i i, I forgot uh, which which season of crown crate gifting it was um i noticed that they, they completely disabled the function so let me put my two cents in on this. Here is what I think is really, really happening. We're going to break this down here. This is why I said at the beginning of the video that players are stealing money from Zenmax Online Studios and they are pissed about it. So what they are saying here is that if you are partaking in this quote unquote fraudulent TOS activity, you're just going to be permabanned. They're going to ban you, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're tired of you working around the system. What do I mean by that? So let's head over to Paint, and I'll kind of draw it out for you so it all makes sense. So let's say we have a ESO Plus Enjoyer, which myself, because I need the craft bag, um, is the necessary evil. I've got nine years in this game. I, I need the bank space. Uh, it sucks, but uh, it is what it is. So let's, let's say... Uh, say we got jimmy here we got uh jimmy okay he is the uh he is the eso plus enjoyer okay so let's say over three months we're just gonna put some arbitrary values i know that this is not the actual crown crate to dollar amount okay i just want to put it in a nice even number that i can do some math with and, and not have a brain aneurysm so let's say jimmy from eso plus has four thousand crowns okay so he has got 4,000 crowns, and we, we will just go ahead and say 4,000 crowns um, is equal to, uh, we'll say $40, okay? I know that this is not true, but uh, it's, it's a really good, you know, th this is just so I can do the math with. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that. So you got $40, 4,000 crowns. Makes sense, right? All right, let's say uh, we got Frank over here. Frank. Frank, God rest his soul, does not have ESO+. Plus. He does not have ESO+. Plus. So, you know, he's, he does not have these 4,000 crowns. But Frank saw something in the cash shop, right? He saw a nice rating apex mount in the cash shop. And he actually thinks he has a chance of getting one of these motherfuckers, okay? So now Frank wants 4,000 crowns. Now... Frank can spend $40 to get 4,000 crowns. But you know what? Frank is a, an average American. He doesn't have $40 that he could pretty much almost buy a, an entire game with to spend on a, a RNG chance, a 2% chance to, to get a rating Apex mount. So what does Frank do? Well, in ESO, there is a currency exchange, not, not an actual system for it, but you can sell your in-game gold to people for a reduced rate of crowns so for example let's say in game i go in trade chat and say hey i want to buy four thousand crowns someone gives me a rate i pay that amount in gold and then you know here's your crowns typically yo thank you christopher Tully, for the follow man yo thank you thank you uh, on youtube <laughs> but uh so typically on eso uh, the currency exchange rates uh, on average you can get 4,000 crowns for $10 when you convert convert that to gold. So the currency exchange is essentially 75% less than what you would actually use to buy crowns with. So if I want 40,000 crowns, I would spend a $10 gold equivalent that I could buy on some third-party site 
in order to ascertain that gold and then trade it for the 4,000 crown. So that's what he does. So Frank drops $10. He drops $10 on a third party site. Okay, he drops 10. And now he has the equivalent to 4,000 crowns worth of gold. So what does he do? So now he goes and finds someone in trade chat, little Jimmy boy over here. Jimmy, man, he's got all these crowns. You don't know what to do with. He knows the game. He knows that the crown crates are an absolute scam. He's like, you know, I got 4,000 crowns. I could get some free in-game gold for this. This will help me with my gear upgrades. Some, some tangible benefit of that. So he goes, you know what? I'm going to sell you these crowns for whatever the gold equivalent is for these 4,000 crowns. So Frank, Jimmy have a little transaction. Frank bought this $10 worth of gold. Okay, go and write it out here. He's got $10 worth of gold, which is equivalent to 4,000 crowns. 4,000 uh, crowns. This is really, this is really bad. So what this means is, had this little transaction here. Now everyone's copacetic. Everyone's happy. Jimmy got the gold to increase his gold gear upgrades, you know, whatever. Now Frank now has these 4,000 crowns sitting in his inventory. So... You may ask yourself, well, if the cra you know, crowns are crowns, they're just going to, it all evens out anyway. No, the amount of crowns, yes, will end out. So this 4,000 crowns, Jimmy can spend on whatever he want. It just so happens he decided to trade it for gold. Now Frank has these 4,000 crowns. So essentially what has happened is Jimmy spent his 4,000 crowns, which he's already bought. And then Frank has effectively bought another 4,000 crowns totaling so we, we have a, a little summation here, you know, engineering, glad I learned this. So we have a total of 8,000 crowns of total transactions, okay? But what do we say here? 4,000 crowns is equal to $40. So doesn't this mean this should translate to $80 for Zoss? This should be $80 for Zoss right here. This should be $80 in their pocket, right? No. Because what Frank did, he took the smart route and he bought the gold equivalent so of $10 worth of gold. So with that being said, this is not true. So now what this equates to is the $8,000 or excuse me, 8,000 crown transaction. But instead of $80, Zoss effectively is only getting 40 of that, only getting $40 plus $10 spent elsewhere on a third party website which is going to equal a 50 dollars total transaction so what this means is that zoss effectively lost 40 dollars because of this transaction so when people are doing this rmting they're swiping they're trading gold for crowns effectively zenimax is losing 50 percent of their revenue that they could have had okay this is my sneaky suspicion on why the crown crates are actually disabled and they have been disabled this long. It's because they are hemorrhaging money on these crown crates and they know it. Now, that might just, that might be completely wrong. You know, it might actually be a geotag issue that Zenimax is having, but um, knowing Zenimax and Bethesda and how the gaming industry is and the, how these AAA firms, I don't think that's the case. I think when it comes down at the end of the day, bottom line, it's money. Zenimax is losing money and then they're going to start banning players who are working around the system, causing them to lose money as if they need to make any more because they do not reinvest any money earned into this game back into ESO. It goes elsewhere. We are a cash cow for the conglomerate engine that is Bethesda, Zenimax, you know, Howard Todd, whatever. Like, thank you, Todd Howard. All right. So. Uh, this is my two cents on the issue. I think this is really shady on Zoss's part, and it is cleverly hidden in this. Uh, I won't say cleverly hidden because anyone that's, you know, of my demographics on YouTube, the age of 31, you know, plus or minus a few years, you can see right through this. Um, this is just a wordplay by the devs in which they're they're, they're, they're just trying, trying to milk their snowflake player base. Um, I hate it. It is what it is. Um, if you agree with me, cool. If you don't agree with me, cool. 
leave me a comment down in the uh, the towel section. We'll have a nice little discussion about it. I want to hear you guys' the thoughts on the recent uh, just, just just shitty shady activity by the Zenimax. I don't know why I expected anything less, but uh, it is what it is. So, hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more breakdowns like this about the community drama, also let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and sub. Go follow me on Twitch. Go follow me on Kick. We're going to be streaming a lot, guys. Kick is about to pop off, so go follow me over there. Okay? Huge shout out to my patrons, community members. You guys are awesome. Kick is going to take over, so just, just go follow me on Kick. Kick, 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 kick. Go follow me on Kick. Big deal. Big deal. And do me a favor. Help support the channel. Go do that. Love you guys. I'm peacing out. Bye.